Hi guys. Since lots of projects involve touch input functionality and ESP32 has touch pins. So today we'll be learning how to use these touch input pins of ESP32. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. So very first make sure you have a ESP32 board and you install ESP32 board in your Arduino IDE and if it is not the case then you can buy a ESP32 from the link provided in description and you can watch the video given in card section to install ESP32 board in Arduino IDE so here we have ESP32 board and mine is VMOS LOLIN32 board so whatever ESP32 board you have the touch pins will differ according to that so for touch pins, you can see the corresponding GPRs on the screen for most of the board. And touch one pin could vary for few boards, but in my case, it is GPIO zero. So for your case, it may be GPIO zero if it is VMOS or LOLIN board. So check about your board online for these pins. And it could be possible that on your board, few of these GPIOs could be missing. Now go to your PC, then go to examples then ESP32, then touch and then open the touch read sketch. And you can see the code is very easy. There is just one command named touch read. It is something similar to analog read function of Arduino. So here touch read function will read touch values from touch pin 0. And here the touch pin 0 is GPIO4 pin. So let's upload this code. So connect your ESP32 board to PC and hit upload and wait for a few seconds for code to get uploaded. After uploading of code, let's connect a jumper to GPIO4 for touch sensing. Then open your serial monitor. And you can see the touch values here. For now, we are not touching any pins. And values are somewhat around 100 and now we will touch the pin and you can see the values are going down somewhat near 20, 30. So that's a huge difference and which could be useful actually. And if I stop touching it, we can see the value settling down to its own previous values. Now I defined GPIO22 as output, which is my onboard LED. And we are storing the touch read values in a variable named dex. Then I put a if condition. So if x is less than 50, so turn on the LED, otherwise turn it off. Now let's upload the code. So you can see if I am touching the pin, you can see the onboard LED stays on. And on serial monitor, we can see the message turn on LED. And if I stop touching the pin, LED turns off. And on serial monitor, message shown as turn off LED. Now I wrote a code to turn on the LED when I touch the pin. And when I touch it again, it turns it off. So here we can see we removed everything from else. And inside if we have only one digital light function and which will change the status of LED every time touch values goes below 50. So let's upload the code and see if it works. So the code is uploaded and we can see when I touch the pin LED is turned on and it stays on and when I touch it again it turns off. Let's put an external LED to it and we can see that LED is working properly. So simply you can use touch pins of ESP32 for your projects. So instead of LED, you can use relay or whatever you like to turn on off your home appliances or anything. So guys, that's all for the today. I hope this video helped you. And if it is the case, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring.